Hi, welcome to the Quantity Surveying Studio. Hope you have been enjoying the contents that I've been putting in this channel. Hope it has been helpful in your career and also been helpful in your professional life. Please don't forget to subscribe to Quantity Surveying Studio if you have not yet subscribed. Please like the videos that I've been putting and please do share it with your colleagues or friends who are into this field of quantity surveying. So one of the main duties of a quantity surveyor is to do quantity measurement from the drawing. So as a quantity surveyor, you will need to have an idea or you will need to understand a drawing and get to know what all are the items that is being shown in a drawing. From that, you will also need to learn how to measure your different items. As an MEP quantity surveyor, there are a lot of MEP items that you will have to measure. So there might be chances that you will miss out some items. There are both countable items and measurable items that is in length, meters, area in square meters or it can also be a volume or kgs if it is a duct measurement. So mostly the countable items, yes, from the drawings you can get it. And if you are asked or if two people are asked to take off measurement of any countable items, they can get the same type of items. But in a linear measurement, if it is a length of a pipe or a duct, or if it is something that you need to measure, if two people are asked to do that, it need not be that both will get the same measurement. The way of measuring can be different for both quantity surveyors. So the main idea is to get the maximum accurate possible measurement. So that is why the name estimation itself is given to this concept. That is, you cannot get an accurate measurement of every item. Countable, yes, you can get, but for linear measurements or area measurements or volume measurements, there can be a slight changes, but the main goal is to get little error and try to cover most of the measurements. Now, since I am an MEP quantity surveyor, I have always come across instances where we miss out some kind of items or sometimes it, even in the drawings, the items will not be shown. So with experience, you will have an idea like if the, a particular item is not shown in drawing, but yes, that should be there actually. Sometimes the design professionals may miss out something, but as a quantity surveyor, you will have an idea that such and such item needs to come and you will have to assume these items and include that in your measurements inside your BOQs while tendering your works, providing rates for these items. So for all these activities with experience, you will get better knowledge and also you will have an idea of the different types of items. So as an MEP quantity surveyor, we have a different systems, we have different items and it is always an experience. So every project when we do a quantity takeoff is a different experience. We come across some new, new items. So we have an idea that this item is there. If it is a plumbing system, the different valves, the different ancillaries, the different types of pipes. So we have an idea that such and such item will be coming for the next project also even if it is not shown if it is kind of similar type of building similar type of project we will have an idea or we get to know from our previous experience that these items will be coming even if it is not shown in the drawing so in this video mainly i'll be concentrating on a checklist and this is exclusively plumbing works so the basic idea here is to get an idea that once your quantity takeoffs are finished, just to make sure that you are included all the items, you have not missed out something. For that is the main idea of this checklist. And in this video, I'll be exclusively concentrating on the plumbing activities. I'll be putting the checklist for different other MEP systems also. So keep watching this channel. So without further delay, let's move into that checklist. And I'll also let you know how you can get this checklist. So this is that plumbing checklist. If you see the different plumbing works have been divided into different systems. You have storm drainage, condensate drains, fixtures, soil and wastewater system, gray water system, cold water system, hot water system and inside each system there are the different major items. So I will not be going in detail about each system and each item. 
hopefully i'll be making more videos in the future about each item and each system so keep watching all my videos you will get to see new new concepts new new ideas you will get to learn so if you see here there are different columns here one is measured and included in boq then there is assumed and included in boq not applicable so not included in boq some items might be under professional sum you might not have any design but from the tender documents after studying the tender documents you will get to know that these items will be there but the design has not come so you will need to quote some professional sum for such items so that is the main idea here measured and included is obviously you will have it in your drawings and then you will measure it and then you will be including in it the boq for such items you can see put something some tick or just for example pipe works you have done the measurement from the drawings it is completed so you can put some color for it next grease trap for example it was not shown in the drawing but you know it should come so you have assumed in places where it has to come and you have already measured it so for that items you can put red here sewage treatment plant so for every project it need not be that a treatment plan should be there so for maybe in this project which you are doing quantity takeoff after that you you didn't find anything about sewage treatment plant so you are putting it under not applicable so it is not included in boq because nothing has been mentioned regarding this plant so like that if there are some items for example some pumps and tanks are needs to be included the design is not available so you are putting it under professional sum for now after studying your docu tender documents you get to know that these items are under professional sum and the design details will be given later so for that you can just put it under the professional sum so this is the main idea so once you are finished with your quantity takeoffs go to this checklist and for each item you do this marking wherever it is applicable and after doing all the marking of all the items you get to know what items you have missed out or if you have forgot to measure some items you can submit it to your senior or to the person who is auditing your boq so they will also have an idea of what all items are there what you have included what you have not included they can also easily understand the entire plumbing system just by going through this sheet they can understand the complete plumbing works of that particular project so hope this sheet will be useful for you if you require this sheet please put your email id under the comment section of this video in youtube so i have seen that many people gets confused they just put a comment that i need this sheet they don't put their email address so please if you don't put your email address then it will be difficult for me to send this sheet to you so please mention your email id and also share it with your friends or colleagues this video so they can also easily get this sheet this template this checklist and use it in their professional life in their career when they are doing a plumbing quantity takeoff so thanks a lot for watching this video take care bye